This is the 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. I'm Josh Smith with GuidingMobile.com. I've had some time today to take this out on the road, out on the track, and to the drag strip. I'm gonna let you know what I've learned about this vehicle after putting it through its paces. The 2020 Shelby GT500 can do zero to 60 in 3.3 seconds. It can finish a quarter mile in 10.7 seconds, and you can hit a body jarring zero to 100 to zero in just 10.6 seconds. The GT500 is a blast to drive. It's hard to stick to the speed limit with 760 horsepower coming from that 5.2 liter V8 under the hood. This thing puts down 625 pounds foot of torque, so it's easy to understand why we might have a little bit of trouble sticking to that speed limit. The dual clutch transmission is very good. It can shift in 80 milliseconds, it's super fast, and it really knows when you want to hang in a gear to really nail it and take off and when it should shift. It does a really good job of figuring that out. When it comes to muscle cars, a lot of people feel like you definitely need a manual, that six-speed option. And I'm here to tell you that after spending time with the GT500 on the track, on the street, and on the drag strip, no manual is no problem when it comes to this Mustang. You can get into the 2020 GT500 for $72,900. That's cheaper than the GT350R. So if you're interested in a manual, look at that option. The carbon fiber track pack bumps this up $18,000. Now that's what we're in here on the track and that's what I drove on the road. If you're looking for something that you're going to take to the track and you're going to track this car, you definitely want to check out that package because you get some amazing upgrades, including those exposed carbon fiber wheels, the better Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, beautiful carbon fiber wing, and the Recaro leather trim seats. The 2020 GT500 is a blast on the track. It screams on the straightaways and it inspires confidence on twists and turns. While I've spent my fair share of days on the track, the thought of going full throttle as soon as I saw the exit point on my turn in a 760 horsepower rear wheel drive car sounds like a recipe for disaster. But I listened to professional driver Billy Johnson and pushed that throttle to the floor as soon as I exited the turn. I was greeted with a roar, rapid acceleration, and the rear end stayed exactly where I needed it to be. A couple corners later, while repeating the action, Billy Johnson had told us that the car is going to swing out a little bit, and that's exactly what happened. So in track mode, you can still get the rear end of the car to swing out a little bit, and if you're a professional driver or someone with a little bit more experience, you're going to be able to turn off a few more options, and you can push the car even further. The Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, combined with those Carbon Revolution carbon fiber rims, delivered impressive grip great handling and very quick turning. I was really impressed by how this all came together and when I needed to stop the massive 16 and a half inch rotors and Brembo calipers did a great job of slowing the GT500 down in a very controlled fashion so that I could then turn and accelerate through the next corner. While I've taken the GT350 around the track with a manual, that Tremec 7 speed transmission, the ability to use those paddle shifters and then just focus on the lines and my driving, I definitely felt more confident as a driver, and in turn, I was able to deliver better performance and better lap times. The Recaro seats are comfortable and they do a very good job of keeping you in place. On the drag strip, there are two features that really stand out and make it very easy to put down a decent time. That's line lock, which basically makes it really easy to do a burnout before you go up to the stop line. And then there's launch control so that you can keep your foot on the brake, mash the accelerator, and it's going to keep that RPM at whatever you set, 1500, 1600, a little higher maybe, depending on your run. And then as soon as you let off that brake, you're going to rock it down the drag strip. So I was a first time drag strip driver on this trip, and I came away really impressed with just how easy it was for me to put down a decent time while watching others fine tune and tweak adjustments to dramatically improve their time as the day went on. Out on the road, the GT500 handles very nicely. Part of this is thanks to that MagnaRide suspension, so it's gonna soak up some of those imperfections in the road. I definitely would swap out tires from the track tires if I was going to daily drive this. And that's just for the performance from those tires when they are very cold. I like that you can switch between multiple steering and suspension modes so that you can go from track mode, normal mode, or sport. You can also adjust the sound of the exhaust from quiet all the way up to track. And this gives you a nice mix so that when you're on the highway, you can tone that down a little bit and just cruise. And then when you're on twisty roads, you can knock that into sport mode and really enjoy a more engaging driving experience. All in all, you get a beautiful Mustang with tech that trickles down from the Ford GT and the Mustang GT4 race cars. That super fast clutch and on-track performance makes you and the car look good. 
And that's what I really came away with after driving it myself and then going on a hot lap with the professional drivers. The capabilities of the GT500 made me feel closer than ever to a pro level driver. Yes, there's a huge canyon of skill between us, as evident when the driver turned off all the electronic assist features and really showed me what this can do, but the 2020 Shelby GT500 in track mode inspires a great deal of confidence and there's still a lot of capability to build on to match your skill or to build on as you learn. Thanks for joining me to find out what's new in the 2020 Shelby GT500. You can find out more over at gottobemobile.com. There'll be some links down in the description below to help you find the written part of this review. Make sure you check out our other videos on this car. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.